Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, where we meet and talk to interesting people in Fresno and the Valley. Uh, we celebrate what's good about Fresno, and we want to expose it and bring it to light and let people know about it and hear about it. Some people say there's nothing to do in Fresno, but I have something every single day. I think we should take a few days off every once in a while. I've been walking up Olive Avenue uh, uh, these last couple months, maybe the last year or more, and I keep bumping into this uh, thrift store called... Uh, Joshua Thrift Store, yes. and my friend Shamine is here. You run this place. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh -huh. And tell us about, give us some background. Is it church-based? Yes, it's church-based. We actually inherited it from a couple that goes to our church. Um, they asked if we would want to take it over because they decided to do more missionary work, mm -hmm. um, and we did. So um, this actually, the day after Thanksgiving this year, will be two years that we've been running it. So it's all church-based. Um, we're all volunteers that are in there. Um, I manage it for our pastors. And everything that we do that comes in the income, it goes right back out to the community. We're all okay. volunteers. We don't get paid. Um, we help feed anybody that needs food. We feed mm -hmm. them. We make sandwiches every day, anywhere from 50 to 85 sandwiches per day that wow. we give out. We help clothe them. They need prayer. We pray for them. And also, if they're wanting to get clean, sober, or need kind, any kind of assistance, okay. we try to hook them up with the best people that we know how to. Very good. Now, I walk by there, and I see bread. Mm-hmm. You give away bread. On Saturdays, we also have a bread ministry through our church. Mm -hmm. And on Saturdays, we're able to get some of that bread, and we give it out to the community. It's free bread. We get anywhere from rainbow to Dave's bread, which is expensive. Yeah, and we I've put it out there, like and people come and get it. So they already know, and they come and get their bread. Is there something biblical about the giving away bread? Feeding the community. Feeding the community. Okay, Feeding very community. good. So, yeah, I've seen, I've seen people get the bread. I've seen people very grateful for the bread. Yes. And I've yes. talked to a couple of people who got a bag, I think, a sack lunch with yeah. a bologna sandwich in it? Yes, Is that bologna, you guys? we do bologna and we also do peanut butter and oh. jelly. We give them water. Um, when we get donations and stuff, we try to get snacks, cookies and stuff, and we put it in there for them as well. Is that every day? Um, yeah, every day that we're open. Okay. So. And what days are you open? We're open Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 4, and then on Saturdays, 10 to 5. And that's I when we give out the bread. Putting some pictures up there of, of yeah. some of the things you, you do. Some of them are for every day that we work, and some of them, because we do do outreaches for the community. We try to do it every two to three months. Um, we do barbecues, we give out ice cream, we give out, you know, face painting, and we try to get other um, people involved with EOC, and we try to get them involved. We're also involved with, um, uh, what was it called? Oh, um, some of the other outreaches that um, other churches that come in, to Cornerstone and stuff like that. So we all try to, you know, get help and try to help people that need the help. Now, there's a couple other uh, thrift stores. If you like thrift stores, this is a good one to go to. Drive down to the tower, go to the Joshua uh, Thrift Store. We're going to tell you where it is in a minute. But there's a couple other faith-based thrift stores yes. right there, too. Yes. So if you like to go thrifting, or I forget what they call it, yeah. you can go to three right there, right? <laughs> yes. Right in the walking yeah. distance there. Yeah. So, um, tell us exactly where yours is. We're right off of Olive and Wilson. We're right across from Tower Gas Station mm -hmm. in the two-story building. We're right right in the corner where the only building that's in the corner that's open so we're but there you guys always seem to be spilling out onto the sidewalk yeah <laughs> okay, so you, you're not going to miss it you see there's some people standing out in front with loaves of bread yeah of all things so yeah where do you get your the stuff for the store um like clothing and donations we go based off donations we have people that you know just live in that area and go and bring it in we have people from our church that bring it in we also um now recently picked up a fresno rescue mission um one of the managers came shopping in there and she goes you know what we're going to start donating our stuff to you because we know exactly where that money's going Excellent. so and so we're getting a lot of donations for them and just places like that what kind of donations would you be looking for this time um, of year? clothing especially men's clothing um shoes uh, especially the men's shoes as well um we take a lot of home goods items um we do not do children's um items um we our store is small yeah so small. we only have so much room so we try to cater to the adults and that's okay. what we take so maybe some coats and yes definitely definitely we also just to mention we're having a tomorrow um we're going to have a thanksgiving feast for oh, the homeless. Oh, nice. So we're going to have it in the back of our parking lot. We've been giving out clothes. We're going to be actually serving them a Thanksgiving meal. So. Well, good. Now, uh, I don't know why in the tower 
I mean, I don't leave the tower, so I don't know if it's the same all over town, but it seems like the tower, we have a, a lot of homeless people. From what I noticed since I've been living there like 20 years, I have noticed there has been a lot more homeless. A lot more. Um, just I don't know if it's because PD are shifting them from town to town yeah. to area area, but I have noticed. You get the impression that they push them to the tower. Yeah, so. yeah, and they do do sweeps because sometimes there'll be days that we haven't seen. You know, we'll maybe get like 20 of them that come in, and the next day they'll be all coming. So we, that's how we know PD's been around to sweep them out and they can't i mean they, they, there's no place for them to go it's not like well we'll go home they're homeless yeah. so yeah. so you know it's just moving around and a lot of the people i encounter in the tower and by the way i've never had a problem with any even the people who shout when they walk down the street oh yeah i've never yeah. had any tr trouble with any of them you know, neither have i um i mean we've known them you know quite a few of them they come in when i don't see them for a couple of days i kind of get worried you know, I just don't want to see in the news that, you know, right. something's happening. So right. when they come in, finally when they come in, ask me, where you been? And they'll tell me. So. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and a lot of the ones in the tower, even if they had a place to go, they just don't. They, some yeah. people like the streets. And, yeah, and, there uh, are a few that like to be on the streets, and then there's other that are struggling, and they really do want to get the help. Yeah, that's so. good. So if they want help, they could start at the uh, the uh, Joshua Thrift Store. Yes. And um, But if you want to help somebody, I mean, this is a time of year that a lot of people give this time of year. What about cash? Do you guys take cash? We do take cash donations, but if they really want to help, we would appreciate like waters, you know, oh, yeah. bologna, peanut butter and jelly. Okay. We'll take that too. We'll get so. a couple of cases of water and yes. drop them out there. And yes. Bologna, yes. peanut butter. Yeah, especially in the summer. It's, it's peanut really butter keeps gonna... forever, so get a yes. giant jar of peanut butter. And a lot butter of them, that's why there. they want to take the peanut butter because they can walk around all day with it. So. Yeah, that's nice. That's <laughs> nice. Well, anything else you want our viewers to know? Just come check our store out. Come and see what we're about. And um, if you need prayer, we're there for you. Free prayer. Free, free prayer. Free prayer. That's where you get something for free from Joshua Thrift Store. This is great. I moved when I go by there and see what you guys do and the people out on the sidewalks and all the loaves of bread and, yes. and stuff like that. And the two people I know who really, in one last week, two people I know who really needed help got a bologna sandwich there. So Awesome. That's awesome. Great. That's what we're about. All right. Well, we want you to come back. We want to hear more about this as you guys keep uh doing this and, and it's our uh, pleasure. hear your fun success stories and stuff like that and it seems like a fun place to it is. work and volunteer <laughs> yeah there's never a dull moment i can tell you that now is there a facebook or a web page um, and joshua thrift star we do have a facebook it's under joshua thrift Store, and it's also under joshua thrift 16 so they can find us there joshua thrift 16 because there's yes. 15 other joshua thrifts no or? i just put 16 because that's the year that we opened oh nice okay <laughs> joshua thrift 16 if you can't find them if you can't uh you want to donate or you want to help out or be involved oh by the way tell me uh before we're out of time tell me about your church where it is and what goes on there it's on argyle on shields and clovis avenue we have services on sunday from 10 to about noon and then on wednesdays from 7 to about 8 30. okay um, we have a youth group back there on wednesday night so they're free to come it's kind of in a little industrial area yes okay yes yes yeah. and uh and what's the name of it it's joshua campaign joshua it's jc i do see for an in for abbreviation it's joshua campaign joshua campaign mm -hmm. and uh is there something special about joshua that it's named after him or um I'll put you on the spot <laughs> yeah. there everything's joshua over there anyway yeah go check out that church it sounds very cool argyle by clovis and shields yes and then it's, by, it's by Duncan Ceramics. Yeah, kind of east of uh, east of Clovis Avenue. Yes, there, so yes. back in that industrial area. If if you can't find them on Facebook, you can't find them on uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, call me. I'll give you their direct phone number. I'll tell you how to get there. I'll draw, I'll walk you over there. It's right up the street from my uh, yes. my <laughs> office here. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.